This FCA game of the week is sponsored by Farmers National Bank of Prophetstown. S strength, respect, commitment, your bank for the future. Yeah! The Prophetstown Lady Prophets face many firsts as they faced El Paso Gridley in the super sectional game. The Prophets were going for their first 30 win season and their first trip to state. But it is first things first, playing four tough quarters against the Titans. Down early, the Lady Prophets get down to the business of coming back. Heather Strike knocks down the three ball later on. Don Robinson's Lady Prophets are in transition. That is Shelby Adams with the finish, and P-Town is on top by a digit. Later on in that first quarter, Claire Kramer in the post, uses the window nicely as this game remains tight. Late in the first quarter, it is El Paso Gridley's Rebecca Erzman. She had a tremendous game, aggressive, plus one. The game is tied at 13, heading to the second quarter. Later in that second quarter, Prophetstown with some tremendous ball movement, and it's into Kramer. She scores for the layup. It's 15 to 13, Lady Prophets. Then quickly on the inbounds to Adams, the lead grows to 17 13. Then, so unselfish, the Lady Prophets get it done again. Cassie Henriken finishes the break nicely, and suddenly the lead is up to 23 to 13. They had a 14 4 run in that quarter. Before halftime, a huge rebound battle as Prophetstown is owning the offensive glass. Eventually, Carly Stafford feeds Michaela Bolton for the layup, and the lead is 27 to 17 at the intermission. In the third quarter, the Titans show signs of making a couple of pushes. That is Ayersman with the rebound plus one as they are making a mild run. P-Town trying to answer Stafford with the offensive glass and the putback. Then here come the three balls as Heather strikes, strikes again from downtown. It's 33 to 20. Then Kramer is so smooth in the paint as she extends her team's lead to 35 to 22. And of course, the Lady Prophets, they can score from all over the floor. Strike again from beyond the arc. The lead swells to 38 to 24. Again, in the half court, strike to Kramer. The muscle plus one, it's 43 to 29 at that point. In the fourth quarter, Prophetstown looking to finish things off as they're trying to hold off the Titans inside to Kramer again as they push the lead back up to 46-37. Then strike dishes to Kramer again as they maintain control of this game. And Kramer is at, at it once again to ice it away on her way to 18 points and 10 rebounds as the Prophetstown Lady Prophets are state-bound with a 58-48 win off to Redbird Arena, hoping to get two more wins and the state championship. It's amazing. How much can be accomplished when no one cares who gets the credit? Dude, Red thing, we win. One team. One dream. We are. That's this team. Good job, ladies. Well, coach, long time coming. How special is it for you? It's pretty special, you know. I'm kind of a lifer in this sport, and uh, you know, I just didn't know if it was happening. And these kids believed in me all year, and they didn't care who got the credit. And uh, you know, funny things can happen today in the pep assembly. I said, you know, they have some outstanding players, but we got an unbelievable team. So decisively in a super sectional, I mean, you guys had a complete game, I thought. You know, I thought, you know, we bent but didn't break. You know, they were making some great plays at the end, and I'm thinking we got to get some stops. The best thing we could do is eat some clock so they couldn't score so fast, and they believed. So it was, a, it was unbelievable to see them execute because they couldn't hear me. <laughs> that third quarter was special, what you guys were able to do. Well, thank you. I, I, I thought, you know, they, they hung in there and built a little more of a lead, and then they, you know, they, they got a, a little folded a little bit, but then they bounced back. So they never really let them get back into the game after that. I know you've loved every team that you've coached, I guess, too, but how fulfilling is it and satisfying when you get to punch your ticket to state and maybe represent all those teams now? You know what? Yeah, those teams gave me everything they had, and, and a lot of those girls, the alumni, have been here and supporting us. They were the foundation. You know, finally we took the next step, but I'll be honest, those girls, 
they were the foundation for all this to happen. You are so welcome. Wouldn't miss it. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how special is it uh, to be standing at the court, lifting up a trophy, and going to where every every girl wants to go? It's an amazing feeling being able to play with these girls and being able to be coached by these amazing coaches. To do it so decisively in a super sectional, I mean, you guys had a complete game tonight, I thought. Do you feel like maybe you played your best game of the year? I feel like we played really well. We trusted each other, and we were able to work well as a team. I don't even know. I'm so happy right now. We've worked so hard to get here. It's finally come true. We're going to stay. I can't believe it. This is the best feeling ever. Obviously, your second and third quarters were uh, just fantastic. What was the difference in those two quarters? Were you able to get the big lead? and offense all together really clicked and I'm just so excited right now. It's amazing. <laughs> How special is it to get coach down to say to? It's he's been in this for a long time. He's really wanted it. He's preached to us that he wants it. We want it just for him and I'm really glad that we got this opportunity for him. It feels unreal. I feel on call nine. <laughs> Tell me how special it is the way you did. You beat a great team tonight, and your second and third quarters were just phenomenal. I mean, during, we picked up our pace, and we played as a team, and we played to our ability, and it just comes to show what we can accomplish when we all work together. You guys were able to pound it inside very well, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we, we looked for the open man and seen who was scoring, and it was inside tonight, and we came out with the win, so that's all that matters. You feel like you've made history or say we've made it now, we want to get some more? Oh, I mean, it feels amazing right now. I mean, we're not going home yet, so we have to go for the big gold. <laughs> How meaningful is it for you knowing uh, the great history and legacy that your coach has? To? It, it feels great because he's, he's a great coach to us, and you can tell how badly he wanted it this year. And for us to be like the first team he's taken to stay is just it's amazing, and just knowing that we're making history, it's so unreal. Your community's unbelievable, and the fan support's been great. Yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, this is probably our biggest fan support we've had, and once we have a big support behind us, it shows like how what great things we can do together as a team, and there's just the fan support, it means so much to us.